<laughs> All right. It is almost five, four after, five after. We should get started. Um, so, hello. Welcome to the weekly sumo meeting. Madalena is not here today, so I'm filling in. Um, okay. We have an ether pad that I posted in Pound Sumo with uh, the agenda. There were no previous action items, so the next thing is... Oh, we didn't have a meeting last week. That's what it was also. So this has been two weeks since we had a meeting. So development update. Uh, this one's Kadir, right? Or Ricky? Yes. Um, so Ricky is going to do the... No, wait. I, I give a quick update on what we are playing today, and Ricky is going to do the <laughs> Ricky show. Um, right. So we are focusing this sprint. We are focusing on finishing up the synonym ranks, uh, which should land, I think, today, uh, if I remember correctly. And um, we are doing uh, the community hub uh, back and front end work. Um, so you can see some of that work already, I uh, think I've put it in there. Yes. In the UX update section, there are screenshots of what we are going to implement for the front end. Uh, and the bug is linked from there. So if you have comments on that, uh, get involved. And I see that, Michael, you want to say something? Yes. Can you, or Joni, or Ricky, can you guys expand or remind people what do cinnamon ring, synonym, not cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon, cinnamon not rings. talking mm, cinnamon like <laughs> buns or something. Synonym rings, what is that, what will that do for us? And the community hub, what does, can you remind us all what those things will do for us? Absolutely. Joni, you want to take the cinnamon rings? Uh, yeah, so cinnamon rings are really tasty. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the synonyms rings it will um, it will help make search easier. Um, you don't have so it'll take every instance of the same of the word, like different instances of the same meaning. Like for example, uh, awesome bar and location bar, and when you search for either one, um, results for either one will show up. Uh, nice. Yeah, so you don't have to yeah. remember to do different types of searches for the same thing. And we can configure that as the Ken John 90, the John 99s of the world configure it. Or I should read the bug, right? Sorry. Uh, configure. Is it just admins? Oh, yeah. Admin, um, oh, if admins can only add to it? Or? Well, how, does it, yeah. how, how do we teach it new things? Oh, so we so you would send your uh, your your word your search words to me your search terms and I can uh, enter it in there. It's it's better if it's just one person or a few people um, controlling it so that we can keep track of what's in there. And mm -hmm. don't break them. I set the text out of a contributor. We just got to recruit librarians to help you with the set of the rigs and other things like that. Okay. All right. Uh, so the community hub part of this is. Uh, a place where you can look up who is active in what uh, in in uh, in a locale and in which section of a locale. So it gives you an overview of the active people uh, in any area of Sumo. So you can actually, uh, as a local leader, you have a chance to see who is doing what. And as a new contributor, you also have a chance of uh, orienting yourself. But it's also a good place to um, see who you can uh, message about a certain issue be it in the forums, be it on uh, the KB. It's also a place where you can, for the first time, search for people. So if you know the name of a contributor, um, you can uh, search for that person there and uh, to send them a message or, or anything. But it's also a one-stop solution uh, for uh, staying on top of uh, new things. Uh, there is going to be an area where we can uh, manually update what's going on with Sumo. Uh, so uh, anything that's necessary for contributors uh, to stay on top of, uh, that's going to be the place uh, where they can go now. Um, uh, there cool. is a project Etherpad for this uh, that answers that question and uh, a few more questions about the timeline for this and stuff. I've linked that from the Etherpad just now. <laughs> you can also look at that. Um, but that's the idea, uh, mm -hmm. to offer a place where you can see who is active in what area and stay on top of uh, things going on. In uh, in, the sum in Sumo Land. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, so that said, uh, I'm handing this to Ricky for the Ricky Show. Okay. So I, I didn't have anything ready, but uh, Johnny and 
career inspired me to show you something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me see. Yeah, I need to share. I don't know how to do it with the new one. Uh, where's the share? Uh, it, it, it looks like a play button oh, in sharing. this toolbar. Because that makes total sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so can you see uh, my browser? Yeah. Maybe? Well, yeah. it's yep. a black, yes. So, um, so is there any, this is local host. Uh, actually, it should work on stage too. But so, if I search for, I just want to show synonym stuff. Uh, so, if I should search for a location bar, it shows some results that maybe aren't so awesome as awesome bar results, right? Or URL bar, like all those things should be the same thing, but but they're not. Um, right now, but if I go in and I add. Uh, this is a nice uh, nerdy synonym editor. So I add uh, <laughs> these synonyms, address bar, URL bar, awesome bar, location bar. So all those should mean the same thing. So that's just a, a syntax um, to specify it. I sync that to Elasticsearch. And now URL bar and awesome bar. Uh, why aren't they the same? Oh, I had the re hard refresh. Okay. Um, so, nice. awesome bar, URL bar, what else did I say? Location bar. I have to hard refresh it so because it's cached. Okay. Location bar is the same as, what's the other one? Um, address bar. Address bar is the same too. So that's what you expect, right? Because it's the same thing. Um, and that's, I, I think, the biggest use case. But I was thinking, like, maybe we could use this, like, we could find, like, the top typos that people do in searching and put those as synonyms, too, because then we would give them nice results for their typo, because um, we don't have, like, autocorrect or anything. Uh, but this could work around that, right? Uh, and yeah, that's synonyms. And then the other thing, the community hub, I just wanted to show the screenshots, which are actually screenshots of actual HTML. But I just don't have it um, running locally yet. So this is the idea of the community hub, where we're going to show the top contributors by locale of each of the areas of the site, right? A forum, knowledge base, localization, and army of awesome. And then we'll have like news which would be just uh, off the RSS feed of the Sumo blog, latest discussions, I guess, of the community discussion forum. And this, the weekly meetings section, which I think is just an article that will get updated. Um, and you'll have a way to search for users here, um, which we don't really have right now. So that's the community hub, the main page, and then some of the pages uh, when you're searching and stuff. So that's that. Uh, please, if you have feedback, uh, go comment in this bug here. One million something. <laughs> or not, one, oh. yeah, one million something, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. all I have. Alrighty. Awesome. That's very cool. So does that uh, take care of all the development updates? Uh, yes, and of the UX update, actually, too. Cool. All right. I don't see anything in the round table, so let's move on to Firefox Desktop. I'll take this one. Um, so I've been taking a look at a couple of the bugs that came out of the Australis launch. Um, two of the big three have been fixed. Uh, it looks like the last one was fixed, but a new bug was open. So um, printing blank uh, while using uh, the PDF printer, um, that one's been fixed and it's been verified. Um, some weird colors, I, I guess it's, uh, I don't know if it's using a, a theme, uh, but the default colors with the uh, Australis, and I think it was on Windows machines uh, with a certain theme uh, was causing some issues. So that one's been fixed. And then um, Mac scrolling uh, on Mavericks. Um, 
the 989769 has been fixed, but a new bug was opened um, for horizontal scrolling. So uh, if anybody's still talking about those ones on the forums, you can let them know that they're fixed. And uh, yeah, let us know if you see anything else. Just so everyone knows, 2901 is out and unthrottled, so everybody's getting the update. This, this weekend, millions and millions of people got updated, and it'll, I guess, continue over the next couple of days. Yeah, that map tracker that they had for the Australis launch, the numbers were just shooting up yeah. um, over the weekend. It was kind of yeah. crazy. Hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions. All right, Firefox OS, who's taking this one? All right, I'll take it. Um, so I just have a couple of updates. Um, there's some bugs that we've been filing for the new ZTE OpenSea from eBay. Um, we created a, Rachel and I talked, and uh, we talked to QA also, and we created a ZTE OpenSea whiteboard. Uh, so I put a link in there to show some of the bugs from the ZTE OpenSea. Um, the major one right now is that there's no Russian or Chinese keyboard. So people in those languages that need to use those keyboards, uh, they won't be able to, to use a keyboard because there's no such keyboard. Uh, so that's something to keep an eye out on the, on the forums if you see. And, um, and then we're trying to figure out what will be the, uh, the resolution for that. And the other update is uh, the training deck for Firefox OS support agents. Uh, I've, it's finalized, so I put the link in there. And if any contributors that don't really know Firefox OS, Firefox OS well that much, uh, you can take a look at that, and uh, it'll get you jump started on Firefox OS and how to support Firefox OS. Um, and it's geared towards the uh, carrier agents, but I think that maybe contributors that are curious about Firefox OS might find it helpful also. Yeah, paid and unpaid, for sure. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Any uh, questions for Ralph? Uh, all right, let's move on to Android. Uh, Firefox 2901 for Android was also released, and we have the re return of the Jedi. No, I mean send tab to devices. Nice. AKA sync tab. We changed the name of the string, so it's slightly different. Uh, thanks to Joni for documenting it, and I just want to double check before I set it ready, to local ready for localization, but I think it's 100% accurate, so thank you, Joni. And um, that's it. Well, we're cool. working on 30, 31, 32. World Cup, no Thunderbird update, next. All right. Well, questions? Uh, let's see, next thing on the list, user education. I just wanted to say, well, first I want to say thanks for all the people who have localized captions on uh, Firefox 29 videos. We've got lots of them um, done. Yeah. But um, we still need help especially captions in Spanish, Russian, and Portuguese. And um, if you want to do, I need people to do localized narration, and I'll make the localized video to go with it. Um, I'd really like to do those in German, French, Spanish, Russian, and Portuguese. So if you can help with that, contact me, let me know. Um, that would be awesome. It, um, it should be, it's, it's fairly, easy. It's not the hardest thing in the world. Uh, uh, what else to let you know about? Do we have an article on how to do that? We do have an article on how to do that, but just let me know if that's what you want to do and I'll, sh I'll send you the, the link. I should have posted it here. I have it somewhere. It's in the Elton N forum. Um, uh, I'll add it to the wiki after I'm done talking because I can't do that at the same time. Um, Good night. Oh, Kadir and I have been looking into, you know, like when you search Google for Firefox or something, like you want to download Firefox and you see all these crazy ads. Well, we started doing some research into that and it turns out lots of people click on those crazy ads and then they don't get Firefox and they get all kinds of other crazy stuff. Um, and 
we're coming up with a plan to do something about that, and we've got people interested in doing something about that. So that's just a more news to come announcement. We'll see. Um, and um, I just because I wrote this in here a while ago, I came up with a plan for exposing new bookmarks in the bookmarks menu. So there's a design that's approved and ready to go, just needs to be implemented. So it's waiting, it's on the backlog to be implemented, just FYI. Uh, that's it for that stuff. Anything, what do we have next? Support forum. Uh, let's see, who wants to take this? Well, Madalena normally would, right? This is a big thank you to everyone who helped out with the Firefox 29 launch she says there was uh, uh, around 100 people who came uh, and helped. I guess that's over, that's including the, our normal helpers, but we don't normally have that many all at once uh, helping it in the form, which is very cool. Um, and there is a link there to a blog post that I did on Friday, which is basically, hey, guess what? We, uh, it would be great. We need to do this all over again. So, because 29 went out, and this is where we just updated everybody else. So all the early people got it the last two weeks. Now the big bunch of people get it. So there's lots more questions to answer all over the place. If you, uh, if you go look, you'll see there's lots to answer. Um, contributors of the week, everyone who helped with the Australis launch, um, which is a lot of people. Uh, not just answering questions, but also uh, localizing content, um, planning to, you know, get everything ready um, and you know, being ready for the big launch day. Um, yeah, lots and lots of people. So thank you. Thanks, everyone, for, for all the hard work for months now. People have been putting in on this. Yeah. Months. Um, so, and then, go ahead, Kadir. Yeah. Um, I mean, I didn't have anything uh, in, in the section for, for metrics but before we close this. Sure. We have now doubled the traffic that we used to have before um, May, uh, April the 29th. So now we are serving about uh, 1.3, 1.4 million people a day. Uh, that's, that's the number of people who come to Sumo a day now. Uh, largely because of the uh, special article, uh, the Get Started article for Firefox. That's now linked to Sumo instead of Mozilla.org. Uh, that's huge. Uh, so, yeah, we just doubled our traffic, our daily traffic, excluding the launch day, which was kind of insane. If you look at the dashboard, you will see that. We, used to, uh, we had um, almost 2 million people that day on Sumo. Wow. Very cool. Um, I see also here that Philip has nominated Pul Pulte, I guess that's how you say that, um, mm -hmm. for a huge input uh, on German localization of articles. They can't even keep up <laughs> doing so much. So thank you uh, for all of your hard work. Vielen Dank, awesome Germans. Yay. All right. Um, that is everything that's on the Etherpad. We have a few more minutes. Any, uh, anything else for anybody to add? I'm looking at IRC. Anybody on the call? Are we good? We're good. All right. That sounds like a meeting. Holy cow. Yeah. 20 minutes. Wow. Thanks, Very everybody. efficient. <laughs> And we'll see you next week. All right. Got you. Bye. 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 Bye.